When I arrived um, in this chamber four years ago at this time, I had no idea what the ways of the Senate were. I had an idea that this is a place where people came to debate and to have a, a collegial relationship with your fellow senators across the aisle. And there had been a lot of problems with ethical issues in the Capitol. And so one of the first things that happened for the class of 2006 was Senate Bill 1. And Senate Bill 1 was a far-reaching ethics bill that included things like no more free flights on corporate jets. Um, it included uh, new requirements on, in terms of gifts from lobbyists. And it also included a provision that I didn't know at the time uh, was, uh, had been worked on by Senator Wyden and Senator Grassley for many, many years. Um, that provision said that we weren't going to have secret holds anymore. So imagine how great I felt on January 18th, 2007, that we had done this comprehensive ethics bill that was going to clean up our act and that we weren't going to have secret holds. Well, so when I started figuring out that the game around here in the last 18 months had developed into a game of secret holds, I came down here and began making motion after motion which under the language of that statute would seem to indicate that all the senators supported, except for a handful, that once you made these motions that people would have to come out of the shadows and claim their holds. Well, that's when I discovered that the people who voted for this, there were a bunch of them that didn't mean it. And that's when I began getting frustrated with the games that were being played. And I want to thank Senator Wyden and Senator Grassley and others that have worked on this. But I'll tell you what's the most depressing thing I've heard here today, that this is something that's been worked on for 15 years. Now, seriously, think about that. We have allowed people to secretly hold nominations and the people's business, and there have been members trying to clean it up for 15 years. Nothing is more hypocritical than all the sanctimonious stuff I'm hearing down the hall about the new era. No more business as usual. No more, uh, we're going to have accountability and transparency. But yet, we seem to be embroiled down on this end of the hall with not even being able to get beyond a secret hold. This shouldn't be hard. This should be easy. I think it makes more sense that if you're the minority and you want to block legislation, that you own it. Just own it. Block it. That's what the Senate's about. Minority can continue to block legislation, whether the Democrats are in the minority or the Republicans are in the minority. They can block all the legislation they want. They just got to own it. They just got to be willing to say, we are blocking this for the following reasons because we think it's important and let the people decide. Same thing with hold. You want to hold something, hold it. But let the people decide whether or not you're being reasonable. Own it. Be proud of it. Defend it. Debate it. Uh, but don't hide it. And that's what this is all about. I want to thank all my colleagues who have worked on this. And I just want to close with this comment. Bad habits have consequences. And if we don't take this opportunity to fix what's going on in the Senate, this is not the way the Senate has operated for hundreds of years. If we don't change this path, then we're going to be on this path forever. I hope that um, we, can, we can pull back from the brink, because that's where we are. We're about ready to institutionalize a way of operating around here that isn't something that any of us should be proud of.